Hi, it's Chester Tuckwell at Blue Peak and Computer Training, and in this video, we're going to look at how to calculate the number of days or the number of months, or the number of years between two dates. Okay, so the function we're going to use for this is called date diff. Date diff, so there in the list. And it has three arguments start date, end date, and unit. So uh, our start date is over here, B1, comma, and our end date is here in B2, comma. So that's self-explanatory. Now the unit argument, what you do here, for example, if you wanted to calculate the number of days between those two dates, you could put in a D, notice the quotation marks, and it would calculate the number of days. So for months, you've probably guessed it, uh, again, what you're going to do is you're going to specify your start date and your end date. And you put an M in for months. That's 20 months. That's whole months. And then years, date diff, and start date, comma, end date. And in quotation marks, you would put your Y. So that's whole years between those two dates. Now we can also use date diff to express the number of years, months and days between the two dates. Um, so the years would be, as we've done before, we'd say date diff, start date, comma, end date, comma, y, exactly as we've done before. So it's one whole year, but now we need to also calculate the number of months between the two dates, but not including that year that's already been calculated there. So we would do this, date diff, start date, comma, end date. And what we would do is we'd say YM, so that gives me eight months. So you've got the three months left of 2016 and then the five months um, in 2018. So you've had the one year, that's already calculated that, and it's one year and eight months. And now we need to do the days. So date diff, date diff, start date, comma, end date. And for this, you're going to do MD. So four days. So essentially, it's one year, eight months, and four days between these two dates. If you wanted this result in one cell, you'd have to do some concatenation. So you could say um, equals, and we'd say uh, click in the cell here, ampersand. And then we'd say one year. And then uh, we would need space after that as well. And then to say ampersand. The ampersand basically joins things together. Uh, and then it would be uh, this value here. Ampersand. And then months. And then ampersand. This value here. Ampersand days. If I press enter, you'll see it one year, eight months and four days. Now, obviously, this formula here relies on these formulas here. So if you didn't want this for this to work, you're going to have to copy these formulas into your concatenation formula. So that's fairly easy to do. If I copy that, and I would paste it into where I've got that cell reference. So now I could delete that and it would still work. I'm going to do the same for a month. Copy that. And I'll paste it over that cell reference. So now I can delete that and it will still work. And then I've just got to do it finally for the days calculation. Copy. And I'd paste that over this cell reference. So now that formula is completely independent of 
any other calculations. Okay, so that's the date diff function in Google Sheets. Hopefully that's been useful for you. Thanks very much for listening. It's Chester Tugwell at Blue Pecan Computer Training.